I'm James Pond, I'm CTO of Lumerical, and I'm responsible for the technology development and the technology innovation at Lumerical. We're a company that does photonic simulation software, both at the component level and also at the circuit and system level. Uh, we have a few exciting developments at Lumerical. Uh, one is inverse design using adjoint optimization. So this is a method where designers can really uh, get the absolute most out of the designs. Uh, they parameterize them and the software can find uh, uh, if there's a better design uh, and just shave a few dB of loss or, or just make a small improvement. And this is something that works really well with Cadence's new Curvy Core technology because these designs tend to be quite curvy and uh, Curvy Core can now do the layout and implementation of these designs. And another area that's really exciting is the electro-optical uh, co-simulation. So we can simulate entire uh, electrical photonic uh, systems like transceivers, where you can simulate the electrical drivers, the photonic link, the electrical receiver, uh, all in a single simulation so the designer can really optimize that link. The project we've been working on recently with Cadence involves uh, being able to build compact models for photonic systems in an automated way. And this is really important because designers, uh, some designers want to have different types of compact models for different simulators. Some want them in Verilog A, some want them in our uh, proprietary simulator, Interconnect. So what we've developed is a way to uh, take the data that defines a compact model and automatically build compact models for different simulators. Uh, and this will be a really enabling technology for photonic PDKs. So the Cadence Lumerical relationship has been going on for several years now and it's really driven by end users. Uh, what we find is that traditionally photonic designers work by themselves sort of independently of electronic designers and now those two worlds are, are merging. And uh, so customers were needing a solution where they can put the electronic and photonic design together. And that's what we're able to provide with uh, Cadence and we've developed a full design flow which we would call an EPDA or electronic photonic design automation flow. So the main challenge that we see as electronics and photonics starts to merge is that you can't independently design a photonic system and an electronic system and then put them together at the end and hope that they're going to function together. So with Cadence, we've been able to offer a great solution to this problem, and that is we offer a full design flow that's driven out of Virtuoso. So there's one schematic, and from that schematic, you can do electronic simulation, you can do photonic simulation, and you can do electronic photonic co-simulation of the entire system. So you can look at all of the effects, uh, that the interplay between the electronics and the photonics. And then out of that same uh, cockpit, you can drive the layout implementation. So you have the full solution in a single design flow uh, with a single golden schematic. I think for many years, uh, silicon photonics and integrated photonics has been a bit of a research project, but now we're really seeing it take off. Uh, we're seeing it move from research foundries to major commercial foundries like Tower Jazz. We're seeing major customers starting to ship uh, product in larger volumes and millions of units per year, that type of thing. And so we're really seeing uh, that this technology is taking off and we really believe that it's a key enabler to solve the networking problems in the data center in the future. Uh, move, the move to 800G will be enabled by silicon photonics. And then there's a whole range of other applications in sensing uh, and uh, consumer electronics that will follow that.